Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. Today is December 21st. Did you hang up Christmas lights this year? Seems like there's more people that have done that this year, which is certainly a cheerful thing. I only put Christmas lights on the outside now on the bushes because I like to keep my feet firmly planted on the ground. I don't like ladders. I remember years ago when my kids were younger, we went to the store, we bought all brand new Christmas lights, I hung them all over the house, but we got only blue lights because we're big Dodger fans. And then somebody who drove by my house said, did you know that's what Jewish people do for Hanukkah? That was embarrassing. But listen to what John 1, 5 says this. It says, the light shines in the darkness. Jesus is the light of the world. So Christmas lights are a, an appropriate celebration of the birth of Christ, his incarnation. When I was a kid, we'd celebrate Jesus' birthday with a birthday cake, and we would put candles on top. Again, that illumination of those candles reminds us he's the light of the world. Well, light's also associated with our salvation, not just the incarnation, our spiritual birthday. Maybe we should have cakes with candles for our spiritual birthdays as well. Listen to what God's word says. For God, who said, let light shine out of the darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6. So in the first creation, the creation of the physical world, God said, let there be light. He commanded it, and there was light. In the new creation of the new birth, when we're born again, when we put our faith in Jesus, the Bible says that it's God who speaks in the same way, let there be light. Literally, God turns on the spiritual lights in our hearts so that we can see the light of the world, Jesus, and therefore know who he is. So the events in the early part of Genesis chapter 1 are a picture of what takes place in us spiritually. God's Spirit moves on the heart of a person just as he moved on the face of the deep when the earth was formless and void. One commentator writes this, The material creation in Genesis began with light, and so also does the spiritual creation. So really, the physical world all started with an act of God of bringing light, and our spiritual life is also God's action upon us. He graciously turns the light on. You see, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and darkness came because of our rebellion against God, but he brings the light of Christ. Years ago, I was on vacation up in Mammoth in an unfamiliar setting, and I was I was getting up in the night, but it was so dark. I was just running into the walls. I was tripping over the bed. And finally, I found that light switch. And then I could see the truth of what was in the room. The same thing has happened for us. Are you grateful? So when people were in the darkness of sin and they had no knowledge of God, God graciously turned on the lights so we could see the light of the gospel and we could see the face of Jesus. Isaiah 9, 2 says this, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the deep darkness, a light has dawned. And so it speaks prophetically of Christ coming, right? Coming into a dark world. But then God graciously comes into our dark hearts and illuminates them so that we can see Jesus. We can see him in the face of Jesus. Wasn't that Paul's experience on the Damascus Road? In Acts 9, 3, it says, A light from heaven flashed around him. And so we see that it takes the light of God to reveal the light of Jesus to us. One person said it this way, God does not shine in our hearts simply to give us knowledge, but rather through us the knowledge might shine to others. What's William McDonald saying? What he's saying is this, is God didn't just turn on the lights so we could keep the light to ourselves, but actually at Christmas time, when we think of hanging Christmas lights on our homes, we should also be thinking about reflecting the light of Jesus to others, that they might see the light of Christ in our lives, that we might reflect him. We really become like the moon, right? up against the sun. You see, the moon doesn't generate any light, it just reflects the light of the sun, and that is our job. Consider again our focus today. For God, who said, let light shine out of the darkness, 
made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6. And so today I pray that you would see the light of Jesus because God has turned on the spiritual light in your heart, but also that each of us would reflect his light to others. May we be Christ's Christmas lights in our homes, in our community this Christmas. Merry Christmas to you.